Before we say it, it's not clickbait. This cocktail has raised $1,500 for men's health. This is the gentleman's health, and it was created last year for the Movember movement. And it's pretty damn good too. Today I'll show you how you can make this simple cocktail with a little cocktail time twist. But more importantly, we'll talk about how we can crush last year's mark together. We renamed our team page on Movember.com to Cocktails for Gentlemen's Health, and we are inviting everyone in the cocktail community to help us reach this goal. Why? Movember Foundation puts it best, so we can change the face of men's health. Last year, we got a lot of support from our friends on YouTube, with creators like Vlad's League Bartender, Raul Bartender, Rob's Home Bar, 60 Second Cocktails, Anders Ericsson, Booze on the Rocks, Liquid Memoir, and Angry Cocktails, all sharing this charitable cocktail with their viewers. We also saw direct donations from many other friends of cocktails. Thank you for that. This year is any cocktail, any form, any platform. Spread the word any way you can that the cocktail community cares about the dads, sons, brothers, partners and bros everywhere. And if you're watching this, you're a part of this community too. You're also helping already. We will again donate all ad revenue this video makes in the next month. Each member of the Cocktail Time crew already donated $100 to get the ball rolling. Find the link to the Cocktails for Gentlemen's Health team page, where you can donate in the description below. But this movement doesn't have to stay online. If you own or work at a bar, consider adding a Movember cocktail to your menu and donating a portion of the proceeds by the end of the month. Now, let's make this thing. Shall we? It's cocktail time. Last year I used Jameson, Yellow Chartreux, Lille Blanc, Lemon and Silly Solution. But we've since made our own homemade vermouth, which will work nicely here. And since our super juice video recently passed 1 million views, we might as well use lemon super juice. No homemade yellow chartreuse yet, but I really like this bottle of Jameson Crested. And I think it will be a perfect fit for the gentleman's health. And we are of course keeping the mustache garnish. That's a staple. There are 5 ingredients in this, and there are 5 important things that can help men live longer, happier lives. Follow the amounts on the screen, or see the recipe in the description, as we'll talk about this. The biggest health issues faced by men are prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and mental health problems that lead to suicide. Start by spending time with people who make you feel good. Catch up regularly. Check in and make time. Maybe you need it, maybe your friends need it. And while you're at it, talk openly. Talk about what's really going on. Don't forget to listen to. Being there for someone can be life-saving. Next, know the numbers. At 50, talk to your doctor about prostate cancer. If you have a family history of prostate cancer, have the conversation at 45. No die nuts. Give them a feel regularly and get to know what's normal for you. Something doesn't seem right? Go to the doctor. And lastly, move more. Get active on a daily basis. Walk, hike, jog, run, ride a bike, whatever. Do more of what makes you feel good. If it doesn't yet, it will. Trust me. And after all that, I promise you, an occasional cocktail will taste even better. Especially if you'll know it's made for a good cause. Here's to legends everywhere. Cheers! If you'll make a cocktail for gentlemen's health too, make sure to send it my way so I can share your contribution to our movement. This episode was a little different, but it's something we feel passionate about, so thank you for helping us out by watching it. Next October, we'll make sure to have charitable cocktails for Breast Cancer Awareness Month too. We have some amazing female bartenders in our industry and on YouTube, so I look forward to that. Cheers, friends of cocktails!